Greetings YouTube, I hope you're well. Now I've got quite a few of these motors lying around, as you might have seen in a previous video. Uh, there's loads of them, there's over 20. I've got a super bargain on 20, so. Uh, what I wanted to see was, what's the difference in these two motors? Because there's quite a bit of difference in the weight. This one with the plastic is quite light. Uh, this one with the metal is much heavier, so I'm going to spray the screws with uh, WD-40 first because they can be a right bitch to get out. And these only cost a couple of quid each, all in, so if they get ruined it's no big deal. I'm going to try using this. Well that was absolutely mega easy. Tiny little screws like 15 mil wood screws. I'd be amazed if these one these ones come out easy as that. I've never had that before. No. Now the tops of those screws are knackered. Unfortunately, That's a very cute looking motor. That is some weird looking copper wiring. That definitely doesn't look right. Anyway, what I'm gonna have to do with this one is I've, I'm gonna find my other drill and I've got this quite sharp 12 mil metal drill bit. I'm just going to have to ha try hacking them out with that. But that wire doesn't actually look copper. I'm just going to snip a bit. Okay, so I managed to get all the screws out of one because that other motor wasn't playing ball. I'm amazed at the difference in quality from what I'm seeing. That's the heavier duty one with that label. Please note the all important actual copper wire. Now this, although quite nice looking, is the lighter, more plasticky hoverboard motor with the plastic case. And that wire is made out of aluminium and, and that must be the weight difference. This one looks like it might have leaked a bit on the inside. Whereas this one seems to have no leak whatsoever. There's the inside casing of the motor. 6003 bearing. And yeah, that is the higher quality motor. But yeah, cheapo plasticky one has aluminium wire. But yeah, that's very interesting. 